Hi cozy friends! So one of the biggest hurdles for me I think in starting my Twitch channel and even before that just trying to film let's plays on my YouTube channel, the biggest hurdle was lighting! I could not for the life of me figure out how to make my lighting look professional, make it look crisp, make it make sense. I would just purely survive on natural light and that works great for kind of talking videos like this but that doesn't necessarily work for let's plays videos where maybe it's it's throughout a long period of time and the light's gonna change the natural light's gonna change so your video is gonna look different from the beginning to the end or definitely if you're streaming and if you have a schedule where you need to stream at night natural light is just not gonna work all the time and the thing that I think made this the biggest hurdle was that whenever I would look on YouTube for tutorials it just didn't work for me and I think it's because a lot of the tutorials were made by men who have you know strong features they want to accentuate their chiseled features and the the maybe ruggedness of their facial hair, things like that, which is the complete opposite of what people with soft features want to hide or highlight. People with soft features kind of want to soften things out and smooth things out, and that's a very different kind of lighting and lighting setup. And that is what took me forever to figure out on my own and hopefully what I can share with you today so that you're not as confused as I was and you can just get straight into streaming or filming Let's Plays or whatever it is you want to do. So first step. The first step is a ring light. And my frustration was that I feel like everybody said, just have a ring light and you'll be good. Start with a ring light and you're fine. And that just wasn't my truth. <laughs> that was not my truth. I had a ring light and it made me look shiny and blown out and just like a beam of light on my face and everything else was dark. It wasn't ideal. And especially at night, especially at night because I wanted to be able to stream at night, you know, all my room lights off and for it to still be lit and look nice because that's what all the streams do and I was like how do I do that and I had my one ring light and it looked so bad <laughs> I'm gonna insert a clip of me with just the ring light this is just the ring light in the morning it's okay it's just still kind of shadowy this is only the ring light at night which is very shadowy and I know that some people say as long as you have a good webcam you know just get a ring light and you're good no other lighting matters just as much as this ring light. But I will tell you that this is one of the most important things to get because in addition to all the others, it's creating this kind of flatness. Alone, I just get a ring of light that doesn't necessarily light up everything, but with the other lights, paired it creates kind of a flatness to the overall light it's just consistent it's great when i have the ring light off it's just a little bit more shadowy here which makes sense because there's a, not light there anymore but it's definitely essential to the overall lighting game the next most essential piece is two key lights and i think you can do with just one but amazon has packs of two key lights like 40 dollars. i'll have a link in the description if you're on a budget and you're starting out i think this is perfect. This is what I started out with. I had this when I was still had my setup when I was sitting on the floor on my coffee table. I had one here, one here on the coffee table and it worked, it worked. It's not amazing. I don't even think it would necessarily look A plus professional when it's super dark either, um, but it does the job. So I'll show what it looks like when I have the two key lights and the ring light. This is the two Amazon key lights in the daytime. I actually think this looks pretty similar to the GVM panels in the daytime, but it's the nighttime where you see the difference. It's a little too bright, it's a little too shadowy, and the quality of the camera doesn't look that great when it is a good quality camera. So as you can see, it's kind of essential to have all three. Like I, I would say if you're starting out and you can only spend money on one, I would say get the two key lights because you can kind of maneuver in a way that is highlighting two parts of your face because the important part about the key lights is that it's putting light where there's inevitably going to be shadows if your entire room is dark. I mean, you might have like a cast from the screen, but then everything else is gonna be super dark in comparison. So you wanna have light where those dark places are. So those are the, the cheap end if you're just starting out, but if you want a little bit more of an investment in something that's really just top of the line, like top of the line, so easy to use and just immediately gives you that professional look. Like you don't have to do any tweaking, anything. You put them up, professional look immediately. It's the GVM lights, it's the GVM lights. I reached out to GVM because I saw their lights in so many videos and I was like, 
I need to try those. I really want to step up my lighting game. And thankfully they sent some over, which was so nice of them. It's RGB, so you can have colorful backlight if you want. It comes in a one pack, a two pack, a three pack, amazing. The RGB sets come with an app where you can change the levels of brightness and the hue of the white light. You can make it more blue or warm, which what I talked about before is great for understanding your skin tones. And then it has a RGB setting where you can change the colors and you can change the saturation of that color. It is just the perfect all around everything you want product. The stands are super sturdy. It took me literally two seconds to put it together. My main concern when I got it in the mail was like, I'm just not gonna know how to put it together. It's gonna be so hard and uh. You literally plop it on, plug it in and you're good to go. And there's also a battery mode if you don't wanna have plugs, which is so helpful. And what I really like about the big LED panels like they have is that it provides this blanket of light. So instead of the Amazon ones where they're kind of tiny and it provides light, but it's kind of just centralized. So you might still get some shadows it's just a blanket of light but it's amazing and you can add some backlighting you know you can use one for the blanket of light and one for the backlight what i tend to do is just buy a bunch of little lights that are cheap and i buy them because they're cheap and i'm like this will get me by and then i've gone and spend like 150 dollars on a bunch of little lights that i eventually never use because it's not sufficient, it's not what I want, and then I end up spending the money on the good thing anyways. This is one of those things. You know, you can do the little ones, the, the cheap Amazon ones to get by, and if you know you're gonna have to just kind of struggle, get by for a while, definitely there's nothing wrong with going for those. If you can make the investment and you want to stay in it for a while, oh my God, the, the effect it's gonna have on your videos is gonna be such a good investment. So I'll show what it looks like with the GBM lights. The GVM panels in the day, it's very light, bright, but balanced and dynamic. And then here's just full brightness. You can see how bright it gets. Here's the GVM panels at night. It's bright, but it's balanced. And here's them at night with some backlighting. Oh, the beautiful magnificent difference. So far, this is this is what you'll see in a lot of tutorial videos. They say ring light to key lights. And the next thing is where I think this will differ from those. So they often talk about having a back lighting. It's something that's like either coming from the back and hitting you here or coming from kind of down below and hitting you here because the light then creates kind of like this framing around your face. That kind of just accentuates weird darknesses that I don't particularly want so you know often that'll that'll look nice on men because they want their their cheekbone to be a little bit more chiseled and dark and, and it kind of looks nice if their face is a little bit dark and brooding on one side it's also great because a lot of men don't have long hair so if you have your hair down having a light hair might create shadows in your face because you have hair here where I'm gonna differ there and and obviously this is preference I recommend just getting more lighting in the front of you but don't go overboard so maybe more lighting but less intensity so it's not like you're seeing all of a sudden a really bright kind of reflection spot just make it so that there's more points of light so the way i do that is i'll show you i have this little desk lamp so it's lighting this shadow area it's playing around with it yourself and seeing what works with your facial features. I think that's what I realized the most throughout this is that we all have such different facial features and such different things we want hidden and accentuated. One person's lighting techniques are not going to look amazing on you automatically. So that's my advice. I would say mostly watching those videos of the people who are like actual photographers and videographers, it does help understand lighting and how it works. So I think I wouldn't have been able to figure out what lighting works for me if I hadn't watched those and understood that you need lighting coming from both of these directions. So definitely watch those in addition to this. And I hope that this can jumpstart your Twitch career or your YouTube streaming or Let's Plays just a little bit quicker. Just seeing um, somebody who maybe has similar interests in what you want accentuated on your face. Best of luck. I'm gonna have a couple more series like this in terms of making just the whole Twitch world a little bit less mysterious and difficult to understand because that's how it felt before I got into it. I love you, stay cozy and drop any helpful hints or tips you've learned about lighting below to help all us newbies out there.